we welcome back to the program one of our favorite people kim bear is here attorney as we talk about things that i uh, might make you raise your eyebrows a little bit and just say oh i didn't know that yeah. when it comes to legal type stuff and this morning we're going to be talking about one that i think a lot of people should file in the back of their head yes yes so we've talked a lot about things that you need to do if you're in a car accident but we really haven't talked about things that you should not do uh, and it's contrary to what i would call iowa nice um, so if you're in an accident and if you feel like you caused the accident we typically want to get out of the car run up say i'm sorry i hit you and you really don't want to do that um, you can still be iowa nice and still do the right thing and say are you hurt can i call an ambulance do you need medical care? But you want to you wanna just be careful about what you're saying. You don't want to admit guilt. You don't want to admit guilt. And, and the reason for that is, is a lot of people don't understand that there's all sorts of things out there that might come into play. So for instance, we have what's called an act of God. Let's say it was a snowstorm and it was icy. Okay, the fact that if I hit you, um, you know, well, I hit you. But if, it's, if there was a snowstorm and it was icy and I couldn't control my car and I wasn't going too fast, that might be a defense you know so if I've already said oh it was my fault I'm so sorry um, you know that might hurt you down the road when we're arguing about whether or not you truly were at fault um, another doctrine that people don't know a lot about is last clear chance so if <laughs> what, is, um, what is that what see and so if you <laughs> <laughs> there you go so if you and I are about ready to get into an accident and I'm coming at you but you see me and you have an opportunity to go off on the shoulder or go over to a different turn a different direction to avoid the accident and you don't do that you could be assigned some fault so a lot and a lot of people are, are shocked by that but that really? but we do have that doctrine in Iowa what if something is involved like a stop sign and and you are given a citation of not making a full and complete stop is that an admittance of guilt well obviously it's going to be used against you um, it, I don't know is that it, you necessarily admit guilt a lot of times people go and try and fight those citations and so if you have an argument to fight it, then you might want to fight it. Um, you know, and a lot of times you, if you go show up at court, sometimes witnesses don't show up, so you might be able to get it dismissed. Uh, so when people come in to me, um, if the other, the first thing we always say, did the other driver get a citation? Did they plead guilty? Were they found guilty? So we do, we do look at those things. Okay. Um, another thing that um, happens a lot is if you did not cause the accident, um, the police officer might say, are you fine? And you, you you know, you usually will say, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And of course, almost within 24 hours, your phone is ringing and an insurance adjuster is on the phone and they want to talk to you because they want to get your statement. And they're going to ask you, how do you feel? Were you injured? What you have to remember, um, especially with people that are over like the age of 25, uh, neck sprains, back sprains, concussions can take 48, 72 hours, that sometimes long. even a week. Um, wow. Concussion syndrome sometimes doesn't show up for about a week. So saying, no, I'm fine, I don't need any medical care is probably not the right thing to say. You can say, well, I'm not sure, I'm just going to give me a couple of days and I'll let you know how I'm feeling. Because your adrenaline is going more you're, than likely. Yeah, and you're in shock. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, and the other thing is, is you know, your muscles in your neck, your muscles in your back have taken some trauma, and so you might not be feeling it yet. Um, and unfortunately, the older you are, uh, the more likely that it's gonna, you're going to have a tough time kind of getting back to where you were pre-accident. You notice she's looking right at me the <laughs> older you are. Oh, I tell you, uh, if you're over 50, you might as well just you know forget about it. But, um, but anyway, so that's one thing you want to avoid saying. You don't want to just say, I'm fine or I wasn't injured. You want to wait and see. So just, just kind of get in the habit or be thinking about the fact that you want to say, well, I, I, I'm feeling fine now, but let's wait and okay, see. Okay, what happens if you slip and, and you say, and then somebody asks you, oh, I'm fine. Right. Then well, what's, 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 what's your best uh, recourse then? Well, you know, it, it, that doesn't mean that you don't have a claim. And we have people come in all the time that have told their insurance adjuster or the other insurance adjuster that they were fine. And then, of course, when we're making a claim for injuries, that's the first thing I hear back from the insurance adjuster. And I say, well, that, yeah, I understand at the time they had no pain, but we all know that it takes 48, 72 
that hours. recognized generally? It, it, it is yeah. recognized, you know, and that's all the more reason that once you start having some pain, you need to go see your doctor. Um, mm -hmm. Even if you just go see the doctor at, to, to make the record, um, because sometimes you're going to need physical therapy. And the longer you wait, then the insurance adjuster is going to say, well, number one, the person told me he was fine. Number two, the person waited 10 days, two weeks to get, to get mm -hmm. help. Um, and so how do we know this was really caused by the accident? So and we've talked about that before. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you go, you go get some medical So you have help. records. So you have some records. Mm -hmm. and, and also, if you need physical therapy, most insurance companies, um, uh, health insurance companies require that you get a referral. Uh, so you just want to make uh, sure that you stay, you're staying on top of that and um, because it's important. The other thing that um, we want to make sure that you, that you don't do is you don't want to speculate. If you don't know how fast you were going, don't guess. So, because if, if the police officer says, well, how fast are you, were you going? <clears throat> if you don't know, just say, I'm not sure. If you knew you weren't speeding, say, I know I wasn't speeding. Uh, but if you say, oh, I think I was going 50, and it turns out that was a 40 mile per hour zone, that might be a problem for you. Right. So just don't guess, just tell what you know. It's perfectly fine to say, you know, I don't know. And then the other thing that I always just want to remind people about, and that is when the insurance adjuster calls, they're going to usually try and make you an offer right off the bat right. um, because they want to close this claim. They want to get the claim off their file, mm -hmm. um, off their desk, and if they make you an offer, it's usually going to be a low ball offer and sometimes people think oh it's a hassle I don't want to deal with it I feel fine so I'll take the thousand or the two thousand dollars and I'll be done then they call a lawyer a week later because now they've got medical bills because that neck sprain or that concussion has now developed and and it's too late you already settled your claim mm -hmm. so just don't don't settle anything until you're at least two weeks out if you're not having any problems after two weeks then you're probably good to go so ahead don't and need settle. Jerk react. Right. exactly don't need your react and then remember that usually the first offer is just that it's a first offer um, a lot of times um, even on property damage so if you've had your cars been wrecked and now you're gonna get it get it fixed or if it's totaled they'll make you an offer but usually the the first offer is not their last offer mm -hmm. and a lot of of times people don't realize that and you can get on you can get online and get on um, the blue book value yep. you mm -hmm. know and go go do your own legwork you don't for those types of things um, we typically tell our clients you don't need to hire us um, because we're going to take a mm -hmm. third of your property damage claim and then you're going to be in the hole mm -hmm. so go do some research and you can negotiate this and you can figure out what you think is fair um, if there was something special about your car you know maybe you just had a really cool paint job put on it you know or you had a great stereo go get that documentation or or come up with some photos because you should be compensated for that as well. So all of those things are things to kind of keep in mind when you're having a car accident. Just be careful if you're involved in some kind of yeah. incident. Just zip it. Just yes, but if people do want more information, they can always contact you. Yeah, guys. absolutely. Just give us a call at 515 Injured. We're right across the street from uh, Vets Auditorium. Perfect. Easy to remember. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. Good job Thank as you. always. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You.